To get your portion of aesthetic pleasure, to travel the world and to be the first to learn about new designs, everything is possible with Design Tour. I'm Nastya Kovalova. Let's start! Exclusively on Design Tour. Today we will walk through the stylish premium showrooms in Milan and take a look behind the scenes of Salone del Mobile. It's not a secret that it is in Milan that the most progressive Italian furniture factories have their representative offices. And today, with the assistance of our designers, we will visit the best of the best. Undoubtedly, the most anticipated event for designers and furniture manufacturers from all over the world is the annual Milan Furniture Fair. After the forced break for the pandemic, the design world seems to have been waiting for Isaloni with special impatience. This is obvious, because it's here that the most progressive and eminent factories can represent their new products and designers can keep up with global trends. However, Isaloni is not only famous pavilions covered with red carpet. During the Design Week, famous factories opened the doors of their showrooms in Milan, attracting designers with new products. With the support of our experienced architects, we decided to visit several trendsetters in furniture fashion. Our guide was Dominio Group, a company that officially represents the best Italian furniture brands in Ukraine and can help with objects equipment in any country. I was at the exhibition yesterday. It's an absolutely another format. I would say I personally prefer visiting showrooms than just a regular exhibition because it's local, it's clear and more informative rather than walking around the pavilions. Perhaps no one will argue that the flagship that sets the development in the field of design for dividing room systems and architectural design of interiors it is the Italian company Rimadesio. And the proof was the spacious, stylish company's showroom in the center of Milan, packed with visitors. It was in 2009 for the first time. At my own risk, I did not yet know what Rimadesio was in terms of quality and price. I've installed a room divider for my clients for the first time. It was a divider between the living room and the kitchen. So, 13 years passed, I've been in touch with my clients, but not once, not a single negative comment was from them regarding their room divider. Rimadesio is quality. If you want perfect junction, perfect joints, that's Rimadesio. However, this brand is valued not only because of its impeccable quality. This year, the factory has introduced new finishes in which the preservation of the nature trend is clearly visible. Natural colors, stone, metal and gloss. My, model is Alhambra. My favorite model is Alhambra. This is a drawer. There can be different heights of these drawers. In any interior, it looks just wow, it's gorgeous. I would even say it's an art object. For me, this is a precious box, not just a drawer. There really was something to see in Rimadesio. But this is not the only place that attracted beauty connoisseurs in Milan. A special attractor for architects was the new iconic Italian factory flex form showroom. By the way, the brand has almost the same age as Isaloni. Of course, this is an incredible mix of fabrics, textures, the way they do it. How do they create an atmosphere that is impossible to convey? Let the rest of the brands forgive me, but from the point of view of the atmosphere, they are so fast. I haven't seen anywhere as cool as the flex form does. They are praised for comfort. And this story of comfort is not just some far-fetched, accidentally made, invented yesterday. This is a story that goes on forever. In the newly opened Flex Forum showroom, the owners focused on the fresh collection, which fully reflects the spirit of the time, and also the path that Italian and world design will follow in the coming years. 
La collezione 2022 prevede... The new collection includes both a line of furniture for indoors and absolutely innovative solutions for outdoors. As always, the main prerogative of our new collection is the appearance. We do everything so that our customers can enjoy flex form not only at home, but also by the pool immersed in greenery. That is why we created the garden collection in the outdoor furniture line. And it is obvious that it is the sofa that remains in the center of our presentation. For example, the one on which we sit, Perry Sofa, is one of the three sofas that can be seen here in our new showroom. It seems to me that this is such a cozy and comfortable option for home for a big family, because sitting on the sofa you don't really want to get up and go somewhere. Now we all felt that, after sitting and everyone does not want to leave quickly. Comfortable, you just sink into these pillows and relax, and this is real comfort. Having inspected the Chic Flex Form showroom, it is safe to say that this year the trend of outdoor fashion continues. The technical progress and capacity of the factory make it possible to create outdoor collections that do not differ in comfort and design from indoor furniture. But at the same time they have all the characteristics of upholstered outdoor furniture. I was impressed by the variety of outdoor collection presented. Many new furniture pieces and the combination of black metal with weaving with rattan, which I had not noticed before in flex form. The outdoor series they released, as they say, we made a sofa that we took out of the interior and it is as comfortable as the one you have inside. It is worth dwelling on the color palette. On flex form furniture example, we can see a clear tendency to use natural colors green, blue, the terracotta palette, and of course the classic flex form color scheme, which remains relevant at all times, also took its special place this year. The master of Italian design, Antonio Citterio, as usual, did his best for the new collection, and believe me, what flex form does will soon be done by the whole world. A day during Design Week doesn't end with official shows. In the evening, architects and designers from all over the world gather in their favorite showrooms for stylish parties. Such as this one in the famous Lualdi Factory's showroom. Here, in an informal setting, the most profitable acquaintances are made and the strongest ties are established. For the pleasure of purchasing new furniture presented in the showrooms of Italian factories and the Salomon pavilions, for something that lasts for a long time, it is important to choose the right representative, who will guide the future owner from choosing to installing the pieces you like in the interior. Such a reliable partner can be the Dominia company, which has proven itself in the Ukrainian market and can continue to delight its customers all over the world. Dominio Group is definitely an expert in Italian design, and if you cannot visit Italy, Dominio Group showrooms are a great alternative. Something interesting for the next year? Colors and textures? Maybe it's time for you to change your old furniture. Coming up on Design Tour! Milan Design Week is an event that architects attempt to catch the latest interior trends. It is here that style is dictated and progress goes on. I'm in Milan at the Salone del Mobile 2022. This is a very cool space for all designers, architects, customers. All the best world trends are presented here. Veronika Goncharenko, Palazzo d'Oro interior design company owner, inspected the best stands of e Saloni to analyze what are the key trends this year. Hello everyone, my name is Veronika, I am the founder and owner of Palazzo d'Oro. We complete the project's design, we work with designers, architects and also individual customers. As the founder of the Palazzo d'Oro brand, Veronika is well versed in interior fashion. The best guide to the fashionable novelties of the Salone del Mobile still needs to be looked for. Right now, I am at the Isaloni in Milan, at the stand of Lintelou. I was delighted with this stand, with its textures and design. The design for this stand was developed by Pete Boone. 
Natural colors and materials are the trend for this year. This is understandable. Locked in their homes during the pandemic, designers strove for something light and natural. Back to the roots and origins. First of all, I've paid attention to the color trends. A number of factories turned to a special selection of green colors, and many factories used ginger, some bright, saturated shades. Each brand has released this season some green. There are fabrics, there is leather or glass, completely different materials and it's green. The entire exhibition is laced with that color. Italian design is very easy to integrate into the interior. Emma Mobile brand, where we are now, is a good example. This brand and this factory has everything you need for your entire project. Boisery, kitchen, dressing rooms, lighting, tables, living zone, sofas. The customer can completely cover its needs with one brand only. We are now at the booth Il Loft, founded by the great Giorgio Sapuriti. The new collection is inspired by the paintings of the famous British artist George Hodge. The factory transferred the elements of the paintings to the pillows, to the carpet, to some objects, to the sofa upholstery. Everything is very concise, very light, amazingly beautiful. And it's true, this season there are a lot of light stands, a lot of light expositions, a lot of white, a lot of boucle fabrics. The passion for natural materials is still there this year. Let's just say it's an ongoing trend. The use of natural materials, wood, stone, glass. I noticed that many factories, for example for upholstered furniture, use wooden elements, rounded shapes, wooden elements and different solution for legs, armrests. That is something that was practically never used in upholstered furniture before. On this stand of the Nature Design brand, we can see all the trends of this year. Natural materials, wood, leather, metal, glass, stone, light colors, light fabric finishes, boucle fabrics, beautiful ginger leather, green leather, sophisticated, beautiful marble. Sustainability is another long-term design trend, and we are talking not only about the production of the furniture itself, but also about the attitude of factories towards the preservation of the environment as a whole. I really like the factory where we are filming right now, Nature Design. For me, this was a real discovery because I hadn't paid attention to them before, perhaps due to the fact that they were poorly represented in Ukraine and Kyiv. Very original factory. Those trends that I've mentioned before are very well represented here, and I really like these new collections. One of the features of that factory, I've learned that they use wood from old buildings, they look for old buildings to be demolished, they take this wood and use it again. By the way, on this factory's example we can trace the uniqueness of Italian design. Nature Design brand managed to combine philosophy, idea and style. Each Milan exhibition is a discovery, the discovery of the brand. This year the Nature Design factory has become a big finding for our studio, because their approach to the representation of the wood is an old elm that they take from all the demolished houses. It is about 150 years old. It is practically not processed. All its characteristics, all its shades, they get over time. This wood is impregnated with the sun, wind, rain, and this is a natural material created by nature literally. It's absolutely fascinating material. It's amazing how they use it in their collection. This factory is of course very different from others. It has its own character. This year the Isaloni exhibition is very dynamic. I liked pavilions 5 and 7, there are a lot of modern ones. I like brands in pavilion 1 and of course my favorite nature design. Italian design is certainly a trendsetter. This year the designers noted another general tendency. 
It seemed to me that during this period there will be some kind of a leap, that the design has changed a lot and we have missed important components of global trends. But when I got to the exhibition, I realized that there was a feeling that Italian design was a bit kind of frozen too for a while. But despite this, of course, Isaloni 2022 will give impetus to the development of design next year. On this, the experts are unanimous. That's it about the beautiful for now, but you shouldn't worry too much, we will definitely see you soon. It was our Milan Design Tour edition.